Um, why is Miss Pillsbury here? She's helping us out with this week's assignment. Now, this is the only club at school that is represented by just about every race, religion, sexual orientation, and clique. But many of you are still having a hard time with acceptance. Oh, that's crazy, Mr. Shu. We love each other. No, I won't deny that you accept each other, but you don't accept yourselves. This week's assignment has two parts. I want all of you to sing songs about accepting yourself for who you are, the best and the worst parts. What's the second part? Well, we're going to do a group number by the queen of self-love, Gaga. We're going to perform her anthem to acceptance, Born This Way. Wait, wait, I still don't know why Miss Pillsbury's here. I'm here to help you with your costumes for the big number. Each of you will be issued a beautifully fitted white t-shirt. We will then use this letterpress to write a word or a phrase that best describes the thing about you that you're the most ashamed of or you'd like to change but you can't because you were born that way, which is super terrific. I, I want you to love those parts of you, you know, embrace them, wear them on your chest with pride. Can you give an example? Yeah, it's a big moment. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, Emma, I thought the whole purpose of you doing this was to Being write. Being a ginger has plagued me my entire life. People say that I smell like copper. Um, I can get a sunburn indoors at night, and according to recent legend, I have no soul. But I'm here to say that this very curse is what makes me unique. Children, I claim my gingerhood before you today. I was born this way. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> 